It is Wednesday night MLS action from the city of Toronto. We're at BMO Field for Toronto FC against New York City FC. NYCFC on a roll as they arrive in Toronto. TFC playing the third of four in a row at home. Back on March 13th, it was a 2 2 tie. It's Sebastian Jovinko for one goal. It's Sebastian Jovinko. Well saved by Josh Saunders. that has Damien Pekis, Ashton Morgan, Eric Zavaleta, Nick Hagland and Mark Bloom. Yeah, that's the issue they've ultimately got, isn't it? I mean, they did have players last season, Italy's Gomez, Luke Moore, that they've decided to move on and find a different way. Played through to Mullins and flashed wide by the former New England man. Bravo made the run to make himself open. This guru down the line for Mendoza to chase onto. He's got Mullins in the middle. Might go towards Poku at the back. Poku up against Betashaw. Does that take a deflection? It's in! Poku scores! And New York City FC lead in Toronto! 15 minutes in! Look how quickly they go from the right to the left. It's really good work by Mendoza. First time the ball comes over, you recognize he should actually leave it right there for Poku. Wins the header. And then Betashaw doesn't get quite tight enough, gives him enough time to make not one, not two, but three touches. It's an outstanding finish. Poku's been the best player in the first 15 minutes. He deserves his moment. Not many goalkeepers in MLS will be able to save that. They get a deserved lead, 1-0 visitors. Williams. Now Moore. Morrow in space calling it for, for it down the left side. Here's Jovinko. Squeezing that through for Will Johnson and now Morrow. Endo takes a deflection on the way past and it'll be a corner. Well, a goal kick has been given by the assistant referee. Will the referee overrule him? So a good opportunity for... New York to send this one into the box. Lucci's delivery headed away, only as far as Discarud. Irwin has to tip it over for a corner. Dangerous dipping from Discarud. This is a really good save by Clint Irwin. We talked about how they could win the free kick. It's that dangerous second ball. Tishaw sends that back forward down the right, looking for Javinko, headed away by Martinez. This is Babuli. Bully's ball in on the top of Johnson, it's Williams, Johnson, 1-1. Will Johnson ties things up just before half-time. That's really well played, it's from the second phase of a corner initially. I said, interesting that Michael Bradley was the one to take it. It's a good ball over the top by Moba Bully, Josh Williams recognises that. See, it all started with Jovinko in the first place being that key outlet on that right hand side. He wasn't on the left hand side where he normally would be to take the corner. So when the ball came out to Stephen Betashaw, he's able to float it over to him. Jovinko found Babuli. It's a really good ball. But Josh Williams, Josh Williams deserves a tremendous amount of credit for chasing that. It was their fourth loss in five against the West so far this season. On the Western Conference opposition early on. Big coast ball into the box, Babuli can't get there, comes towards Johnson. He didn't catch hold of it, Will Johnson. Here's Toronto debut. Will wait. Here's Jovinko. And Will Johnson. Jovinko once again, Sebastian Jovinko. Jovinko saved by Saunders, it's Jay Chapman, Saunders saves again. for his first MLS goal, denied by the two-time MLS Cup winner, former Galaxy man in the New York goal. Babuli, it's Discarud now. Well, one last chance for New York City. Give it away. And now end on towards Babuli. It's played down the left towards Sebastian Javinko. Bravo sliding in. And that will be it here at BMO Fields, a 1-1 draw between Toronto FC 
and New York City FC. Poku giving the visiting side the lead 16 minutes in. Will Johnson tying things up just before the break to ensure Greg Vanny's side will get a point.